Hi guys, so if you are watching this video, you are wondering what these signs here, first, second, and third, mean on LinkedIn. The answer is really simple. They describe the degree of connection you have with people on LinkedIn. So first, let's see what first degree connection means on LinkedIn. Your first degree connection are people already inside your network because you have sent an invitation to them and they have accepted it or they have sent an invitation to you and you have accepted it. So you can find them on your profile by clicking on connection here. And you can see that you can directly message them and send them LinkedIn DMs. So if I click on this profile, for example, I will have the mention message here. Your LinkedIn first degree connection are also the first people that will see your LinkedIn post when you publish on LinkedIn. When you are first degree connection with someone, you can also access the contact info section here and you can sometimes find professional emails, personal emails and Twitter profile and website. Any information that these people have decided to share publicly on LinkedIn. Now let's talk about the second degree connection. So basically, your second degree connections are the connections of your first degree connections. So you are one people away from them. For example, if I look into the connections of this person here and I select like the second profile, you can see here the mention second because this is a connection of my connection. So what changes here is that I don't have access to um, Twitter profiles, website just the LinkedIn URL and the birthday if uh, people uh, have decided to share it. And I can't send a, a message directly. I need to first send a connection request with or without a note before being able to send messages to secondary connections. And there is a way to contact a secondary connection directly without sending a connection request first. And you can do that if you are subscribed to LinkedIn Sales Navigator, LinkedIn Recruiter, or LinkedIn Premium. And this technique is uh, LinkedIn emails. So basically LinkedIn emails are paying LinkedIn messages that allow you to skip the connection request step and send messages directly to second and third degree connections. So to send emails, if you are subscribed to one of LinkedIn premium offers, you just need to click on more here and message and you will be able to contact directly this person. If you want to know more about emails, I've added a link to another video just right here. Third degree connection are basically everyone else that are not your first degree connection or your second degree connections. On third degree profile, you don't get the mention connect here, only message but you can still connect with these people by clicking on more and then connect here. And sometimes uh, LinkedIn will ask you why you want uh, to send a connection request um, to third degree connection. So you can select anything you want and then click on connect here and you can decide to add or not add a note. There is a specific use case on LinkedIn for second and third degree connection. It's open uh, profiles. So open profiles are LinkedIn premium members that have decided to let everyone on LinkedIn directly uh, message them without sending a connection request first. So on these profiles, uh, if you click on message here, you will uh, directly get the email inbox here that will open and you will see that this is a free message because normally you get like uh, 50 emails credit per month with Sales Navigator. So every every time you send an email, you spend a, a credit. But for open profiles, emails are free. So it can be really interesting to identify open profiles to save some connection request credits. Because as you know, LinkedIn recently changed the invitation limit from 100 invitations per day to 100 invitations per week. 100 invitations per week is a really low amount. So if you can save some of them by sending emails to open profiles, that can allow you to connect with more people every week. Now I will give you a technique to identify open profiles in just one click, but for that, uh, you will need sales navigators. So if you don't have sales navigator yet, maybe you can take a free trial and see if this technique has some benefits for your business. Okay, so let's say you are on sales navigator and you have built a lead list and you want to extract these people into a CSV. You can download the Evo Bootcorn extension. I will leave the link in the description. So to get all these people into a CSV, you can click on extract with Evo Boot here. It will open a new window and then you just need to name your search and to launch the extraction. 
uh, once the extraction is completed, you can download the file and I will open the file here. And within this file, you will be able to find a column named prospect is open profile. And if I scroll down a bit here, I can see that this person, for example, is an open profile. So if I go back, you know, to the LinkedIn URL here, and I click on message, it will open here the free email inbox. So what you can do is take this file and like uh, filter here the colon on the value true and it will show you all the open profiles. And so you know that for all these profiles, you don't need to send a connection request. You can send an email directly. So to add this information, you need to extract data. You can't know if someone is open profile just by visiting uh, the page. And by the way, if your prospect doesn't reply to your connection request, does not reply to your email, you can use Evaboot to try to contact your prospect with emails. So once you have extracted your search, just need to click on find emails here and Evaboot will add and verify professional email addresses for all the people in your list. So if you have used every mean possible on LinkedIn to contact someone, you can still try to find the emails and send an email to get a reply. If you work in sales and you want to know more about how you can use LinkedIn to generate tons of leads and appointments every week, you can watch this video here where I explain in details how to use LinkedIn for lead generation. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe if you have enjoyed the content and I see you in the next one.